New Year's Eve, typically a time for families to bond and to celebrate. But for one Gresham family, the new year started off as a nightmare. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Gordon. And I'm Brittany Folkers. Now, their loved one was nearly killed in that hit and run. Our Sydney Dorner got to talk with the family today. So first off, Sydney, how's he doing? Yes, Brittany, I've been speaking with Angel's wife all day, Audrey, who says he's in an immense amount of pain. This morning he got his tubes removed, so he's now able to talk. Overall, she says he's in good spirits, but just wants the person who did this to him off the streets. Audrey Blackburn says New Year's Eve was just another day with her two young boys and husband Angel. Angel just picked up motorcycling in July of 2023 and loved having his family drive alongside him and we're part of a motorcycle group and it's just and we travel and we we just do all kinds of fun things on new year's eve they had just come from a steelers and seahawks game in seattle when angel was hit at a red light on division street while riding his motorcycle the driver then ran over angel's body and parked by a nearby apartment before walking off it was as if as soon as i got that window rolled down for my son to wave the car just came out of nowhere hit him from behind and then next thing you know, he's in front, he's in the street in front of me and the car's running him over. And all I saw was a flash of red because I was more focused on if my husband was alive or not. At first, she could barely tell if her husband had made it. I was trying to remember how to put my car in park and get, I, I was screaming. So it was, I got out and confirmed that he was breathing. He was alive. His eyes were open. He was talking. Audrey says everyone around but the driver stopped to check on Angel. All I know is the people who did this are not good people whatsoever to not only hit him but run him over and then proceed to just park and casually get out of their car because we have the video of them getting out of the car afterwards. They didn't run. They didn't care. It's like they were on their way to the grocery store. One of the bystanders was a nurse who began working on Angel right away before he was transported to OHSU. There they performed surgery on his spine, clavicle, femur and ribs, also placing a rod in one of his legs. Today, Audrey is glad to announce he is finally tube free after five days in ICU. But back to back to back surgeries and he is just, wow, he's, he's fighting, but he's been through so much and he's in a lot of pain. Right now, Audrey says medical staff has no idea when Angel will be good to return back home to his two boys. She hopes in the meantime, they can catch the people who did this. Because obviously he's upset about what happened to him. He's, he's an active guy and who knows long term what's, how, what his condition is going to be like and these people may have taken that all away from him. Officers are still looking for that driver and passenger that walked away from that red Chevy Aveo on Division and 202nd Avenue. They say if you recognize the man, please send any tips to Gresham Police. Sydney Dorner, KGW News. Back to you.